Hello everybody, this is your boy bringing you a video to all five of these cases, including the one that's on my phone that I have specifically. Now, like I said before, and I'm going to say it again, that everybody buys cases for that phone, for that phone specifically, regardless if the all the entire iPhone series, it's your Android phones or such and such, whatever. You know, everybody buy specific phones and people buy specific cases that match their phone or match their style or match their criteria, however you want to put it. Now, as you see before you here, I have five different cases and each one I bought between 2017 to now. And I have another case that I made a video on back here a few weeks ago, maybe been a month ago, that I recently purchased a new case, but I never opened up the case at all up until a uh, couple of weeks ago when I made a new video for it. But now, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and explain each and every, each and every one of these cases, their design, and what they what they specifically made to do for your Bowman Ford protection. So... I'm going to go ahead and start with this particular case right quick, give you all an idea. Now, this is an aluminum case, an aluminum metal case. This is what this is. And it had the bumpers on the side of the entire phone, so it, it gives you excellent protection for it drops concern. And excellent protection for your camera right here. And it has on the outside of the entire rubbery case, it has your um, your volume rockers right here and a specific button made specific for your um, your uh, 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 mute switch. That's a little little uh, latch that you open that you opens up here to do that. As you can currently see, I can't find it right now, but this phone has it. Oh, there it is. See, you see a little button there. There's a button here right here on the corner that controls your volume switch off and on and it has a rubbery back right there but everything else is metal as you can see except for the rubber part there and on the round ends there it has for your speakers here because the speakers are not on the front but they're on the top so it makes the speaker loud than what it should be so it gives you it gives you speaker excellent protection it also plays the your music and you can hear your videos loud and clear with this but it also has a, a glass temp glass green protector now this is probably one of my best case that i bought now i bought this case 2017 i bought it about four or five months before i bought the iphone x and the concern with this case is that when i bought it a lot of people thought that I bought the case a little bit too soon because the iPhone X never came out. But the but the design of the phone was already out before the case actually debuted. So I bought the case for a little or nothing like 25, 30 bucks because like I said, it's aluminum all the way around. It had screws at six screws that um keep the case intact. So you have to have a special type of screw to open up all six of them to put your phone, install your phone in. And it does, it works because I dropped this phone quite a few times. As you can see, there's your evidence that it protects the phone quite extraordinarily well. Now, eventually I'm going to put my phone back in this case. But right now I'm not going to because I'm enjoying the case that I currently have. So I'm going to put it down to the side right quick and start with the second case. Now this case here is probably one of the best cases ever invented for the phone this is actually a waterproof case um see it separates and there is your screen protector there but it's a different because it's actually plastic but it protects the screen because you're going to cream in the glass and here is the um your volume rockers there and there's your off and on mute switch button there your off and on mute switch and there's your volume rockers and on the other side is your off and on button your, your power button and this case as you can see it has a special design made on the inside to actually protect your phone from any type of drops and it also has a rubbery outside like the current case 
but this case doesn't have, I mean, not, not the current case, but the first case that I showed you. The only thing about this phone being case in case here, it doesn't have no glass protector. And plastic, you can see. It's plastic, as I was telling you. So, but this phone, this case had done my phone extraordinarily well. I even made a video where I actually submerged this case along with my phone inside of a, um, bowl of water that I actually sit right here and I let it sit in there for about two maybe three minutes probably and I was able to talk and explaining how what it's supposed to do in this case it does my phone extraordinarily well and um so I'm gonna show you the back so here's the back of that phone as you can take the back of the case see it has a good protection there on the back and on, as you can see on the front that's your protection for your camera and there's your view right there which is also made of plastic to protect your apple logo so this phone this case and probably the best case ever invented because there are other cases out there like that that's also waterproof but it costs an arm and a leg i've seen some online where it's like 35 i mean like 60 or 70 bucks and um i don't think no water case is really worth that much but i got this case for like 25 dollars at least 25 so that was a bargain right there. And I forgot the name of the company. I think I think in Clay, Clay Cole, Clay Yo, something like that. This actually what this name of the case is. I can't pronounce it. But yeah, Clay Clay Cole. Clay Cole, that's the name of the case. So that's the second case that I've done. And my third case that I purchased, I made a video on with this case. Now this case is actually pretty good. And it stood up, it stood up to expectations. When I um, put the foam inside the case, as you can see, it's three protect, three layer protection. There's your back protection. Here's your plastic protection here, and inside the plastic protection, there's a little little silver thing, as you can see. You put your foam inside the silver thing, and you slide that in the plastic. And then you put this clear, this gray piece on it, and it protects your foam inside. This case had done its job. I'll probably never put my phone back in this case again. Cover the fact is, this phone dropped more than any other case that I ever had in my hands or in my possession. And as you can see right here on the very on the right, my my right, probably your left. As you can see, I had to super glue this case back together and had to put some um silver or silver marker so it'll give it back that lackluster look. But you barely can really see it because it has to actually combine with the color of the case itself. But like I said before, I'll probably never put my phone back in this case again. So this is probably one case I might up and sell or might just do away with. I don't know. Depends on my feelings and emotions. But it is what it is. And my um, fourth case is this one. Um, each and every case that, that, that I made a video that I have here, I made videos on. This case was like nine or ten dollars, and um, would I put my phone back in this case? Maybe, maybe not. Like I said, it depends on my emotions and feelings. But this case, this phone is actually a two piece. Here, the protection for the back of the phone, and as you can see, it got a whole bunch of marks on it. This case, this here does not protect your back of the phone, but it does protect. Well, let's put it this way. It'll protect the backing of your phone. But as you see here, as you you barely see my face through it, this is a stretch, stretchable, clear back for this phone. And I can't think of the name of this one here as well, but you can see it. There is your, your hole for your mute button, and there's your volume rockers right there. And on the other side is the power button. And behind it is for the speakers and for your UA for your UB port for that one. This case was okay, but it wasn't the best case for nine dollars. But like I say, you always buy or get with your money buy. You know what this old saying goes? You get with your money, you get with your money buy, or I forget I forget how it's how it goes, but you know what I'm trying to say. And this case here, wow. This case is very good. And it's as you can see, it's teal. This is the case I bought um, I bought a month ago. 
and like my other, and like and like my previous case I have on my phone now, I did not open this case or this or this phone or this case until later. So um, it's teal as you can see, and this has a template glass. And this this case been on my phone for about a month before I got the other case, and this one here has done extraordinarily well. As you can see, it has a good protection right there for your camera. It ain't the protection for your camera is not that good on this on on this case, but it's it serves its purpose. And as you can see, right here, um, it has three clear cuttings. The cutting, the third cutting on my left, probably your right, depending where you depending where you're viewing this camera or seeing my face at. This is the volume, this is the off and on button right here. That's what that is. And on the opposite side of this case. There's the hole for your mute button and for your volume rockers right here. And don't never mind these two cutouts. They don't really don't mean nothing, just a, a good design for the phone. And this is for a couple of holes where you can put one of these little black loops or whatever feels. This is what that hole is for. So I wouldn't even worry about that. But this case is still good. And this case cost me about 25, 30 bucks. But it served its purposes for as that. So, would I, would I put my phone back in this case? Most definitely will, and I probably will in the near future. And last but not least, here is the case for my phone that I have now. And this is my iPhone X, as you can see. Um, um, so as you can see, it still has the, the screen protector on this one. And on the back, there it is the um that's the clear case right there and it has excellent protection for your camera and this is also a template a template screen or glass for the back of the phone that's what that is it has your apple logo and as you can see it is darker teal than this one it is this is a light teal it's a darker teal and um this case has done me Extraordinarily well. It has excellent grip, and um, this is a, this is probably a this is a better case. And as you can look, as you can see um, on this one, I had it. It's green. The case is green. I mean, the, the thing is green. The, the screen is green to match the case. As you can see, match the case, and um. Volume rockers right there on the side, and there's your cutout for your mute button. And on behind me is your power button, and it has a little rubber outlet on the top of the case, as you can see. Because when your phone fall flat, it won't damage the screen or nothing that nature. Because it has a little bit, a little bit of uplift on up on off the screen, so your screen should be well protected. And um, this case, like I said, it's extraordinarily well. So, with that being said, you got a video of all six of my cases. Um, I'm giving you how good they are and how bad they are. You make a good decision what kind of what type of cake that you want for your phone because I got six of them. And I plan on buying a seven case. And that might be the last and final case. I'm not quite sure exactly what case that's going to be. I got some idea. But when I get that case... I'm going to put a video on it for you guys to see it and get an idea of what you think about it. But overall, I'm giving you all a video for my iPhone X cases. Um, like I said, make your mind what you want to do and for getting what kind of case that suits you, your personality, and all that jibber-jabber that goes along with spending your hard-earned cash. So, this is your boy. Sign out. Peace. Give me a thumbs up and give me a comment below and subscribe to my videos or to my channel. Peace.